So, uh, yeah, Thaksin in the news again. So, the unseated ex-prime minister of Thailand, Thaksin Shinawatra, is eligible to request a royal pardon upon his return to the country. When he returns, he would be imprisoned but can request a pardon, according to the acting deputy prime minister, Kun Wisanu, in an announcement yesterday. According to the deputy premier, who also holds the interim role of justice minister following the resignation of Kun Somsak, each inmate is allowed to call for a royal pardon, but only after they start serving the prison term. Uh, quote, all inmates have the right to seek a royal pardon on the first day of imprisonment because this right is available during the time of punishment. Uh, Wisanu can caution though that if the appeal for royal pardon isn't granted upon submission, the petitioner can only reapply after waiting a two-year period. Now, once Thaksin lands on Thailand soil, he will be met with an incarceration order about three previous cases that resulted in a total punishment of 10 years in prison. Some of the former premier premier's cases have exceeded their status statutes of limitation, while others have yet to reach the inside of a courtroom, such as the case regarding Thaksin's escape from Thailand. The announcement of correction officials preparing for Thaksin's arrival follows the former premier's predisclosed plans of returning on his birthday. Thaksin celebrated his 74th birthday on Wednesday whilst, his self -imposed, uh, whilst in his self-imposed 15-year exile. The deputy prime minister also pointed out that even without a royal pardon, Thaksin's senior status would result in different treatment from the average inmate. The critically ill are similarly afforded certain advantages like the elderly, a policy common to the Thai court sentencing. Quote, Thaksin, being older than 60 years, will be treated differently from general inmates due to his age. Now, the determination of special privilege lies in the hands of the correction department, which suggests that Thaksin Thaksin's detention outside the prison is an unlikely scenario unless he is granted a royal pardon. So, what do you think? Uh, the idea is Thaksin is uh, gonna arrive imminently. He'll be here soon, but then the question I is what happens. So. You don't think so? Yeah. Um, he he will be arrested. Yeah. Right? Uh, there are many different uh, Thai news sources that are saying that even the police are preparing themselves for mm -hmm. his arrival. He arrives, mm -hmm. he gets arrested. Do you think a man with his amount of power and money will go and just spend his time in jail to wait for a royal pardon? It's Definitely not, it's not, not. Yeah. like royal pardons are just waiting around to be thrown here and there. Yeah. Uh, I don't see this man spending any time in jail. Well, right? this is at the highest. He's not Nelson Mandela. Right, <laughs> that's for sure. I mean, that's hence the exile. But I think at that highest level, right, with the communication and the fact that they're trying to create a coalition government with Put Thai, there's got to be some higher level back channel communication that would uh, that would push Thaksin to sort of like test the waters publicly and then see how the Thai government responds publicly. So um, yeah, this, the saga is not over yeah. one I, way or I the other. Most likely he's going to come back to Thailand once the Put Thai party mm -hmm. uh, nominates and wins their prime minister candidate at an mm -hmm. election. That makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat>